You're using a CRM, but how do you know everything that you're doing is working the way it should? Today, I'm gonna to share with you three areas that you should be using in measuring the effectiveness of your CRM. Welcome to this episode of Simple CRM. How to use what you know and who you know to grow your business with the president of Address2, Troy Hanna. Today, let's chat about these three areas that you should be reviewing to measure the success of your CRM strategy. These three areas are sales, marketing, and service. So let's dive in and talk about what you should be reviewing in each of those categories. Part of looking at sales is easy. You track dollars in so you know what sales you're making, and but you really need to look a lot further than that. Aside from tracking dollars, you should also be tracking things like the number of prospects, numbers of new customers, the numbers of retained customers. Think about it. If you look at prospects versus customers, then you can determine what type of close rate you have and use that data to start looking at how long your sales cycle is, which is extremely important for making sales projections. Other numbers you want to look at are the number of sales calls you make and the number of sales calls per opportunity. This helps you look at more efficiencies in your, your sales process. Finally, you also want to track the number of proposals given compared to the number of proposals closed. The next category you should be looking at with a measuring mindset is your email marketing. Don't just look at the click-through rates and open rates. You should know how many campaigns you are doing and the number of purchases in each of those campaigns that you get and how much revenue is actually generated from a specific email campaign. Drill down in the number of new customers acquired through campaigns and I suggest you even look at the number of referrals that you possibly get from people sharing those. You'll also want to keep track of things like cross-selling ratios and upselling ratios. For those, email marketing, for those email marketing campaigns, don't forget to measure how big your email list is growing. Checking your campaigns can affect the growth there and give you important information about campaign performances. The final category that I suggest you measure is your service. Now, you may not be a traditional type of service business where customers file a ticket and you need to troubleshoot, but if you are, you need to make sure that your CRM, you need to make sure you're using your CRM to track those cases. Look at the number of cases or tickets you are handling at the, at the time and how long it takes to close them. So how many close the same day? What is the number of average calls or tickets you have per day? What is the average time between complaint and resolution? What is the average service cost per interruption? Each of these details can help you create a better service relationship with your customers. Ignoring the data will only ensure that you don't improve, which is definitely gonna have an impact on your bottom line. Measuring elements in your sales, marketing, and service categories is not just a good idea, it's a necessity to grow your business. Be sure that you're using your CRM for reporting fields and functions to their maximum potential to ensure your continued success. If you have any questions about things that you can measure in your CRM or things that you should be tracking in your CRM, feel free to reach out to us. Support at address2.com is a great way to hear back from folks in our offices of how you can be better tracking what your sales teams are doing. Thank you for watching this episode of Simple CRM with Troy Hanna. For more great information, visit the Address2 website at address2.com. Also browse the other shows found right here at Indie Biz TV Shows.